What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my second and final video on Freedom Pop. Uh, this is everything you need to know before you buy, and if you should buy. So about two or three months ago, I think around two months, I took my first order with, I did my first order with Freedom Pop. And uh, about a week and a half later, my phone came, and it didn't work. And that was the first unboxing. Uh, click the annotation right there. Or if you're on a mobile device, it's in the description. Uh, go watch that. Uh, but yeah, so I bought that. It didn't work. Part of the screen you couldn't touch. So I returned it, and a week and a half again. It took about the same time. It's actually a little bit faster. Uh, and $10 later to ship it back. So, I have $80 in this phone now, because the phone was $69, so 70 plus tax. And then, I get that, and I'm on the free plan and everything, I'm not paying for anything. And I have the phone for about two months. So, here's the phone. And, uh, it's a pretty nice looking phone. It's, uh, completely dead at the moment, I'll charge it up. But, I can't show you anything on the phone anyway, and the reason I can't... It turns on and everything, but the whole screen doesn't work. You can't touch anything on the screen. Um, you can touch some areas, like this part and like this part just don't work for a certain area. I, it's aggravating, and um, I can't get a refund because they have a 30-day return policy. And I am out $80 plus the $4.99 a month I've been paying for Premium Voice, and or $3.99, one of those. What Premium Voice is, is uh, it connects you to Sprint's cell towers because what Freedom Pop uses to make its calls is Voice over Internet protocol, um, and that's called VoIP. And the way that works is you go through data to make calls, and that's how they can afford to do it for so cheap. And if you pay a three ninety nine a month, you can go through Sprint's towers and get good call quality. Because honestly, if you don't do that you'll probably be getting echoey and drop calls all the time, because that's what happened before I did that. And, uh, I didn't want to get stranded without a phone, because I, I need one. So, I had put that on there, so... Around $90 later, if you can include the two months' worth of service, I paid for $10. Um, and then... Uh, the price of the phone and the price to return. Now, another thing I want to say is, if you go within 100 megabytes of your minutes, or of your data, they will automatically charge you $15. Without your consent, it's it's in the contract somewhere. Let's turn this on. Um, it's in the contract somewhere, uh, and I heard about it, and uh, but they topped me off with $15, and I wasn't really happy, because I didn't want to spend $15, because I hadn't gone over my data. So what I had to do was I called a representative, and um, she told me to wait until my billing cycle was over, which I had like a day left, and that's why I used almost all my data, because I had a day left. I, was, I figured I could use it. And um, then I called back a day or two later, and uh, they gave me that $15 back, but then I had to pay like a $5 fee to turn off auto top off. So now I am... $95 into this service with two months of uh, usage, which hasn't been great. Now, I got my Scott Pilgrim vs. the World wallpaper. Let's see if I can... Um, okay, I can unlock it, but this whole top is completely unresponsive. I can't use that. And but somewhere down here, I can't remember which part, but it, it got to the point where I couldn't use it much. It's, it's, it's very unresponsive. Mm, yeah. This phone's worthless now. Because I can't use all the functions. And a lot of apps. The back button right here is right there. And I can't click that. And my phone it just turned off because I unplugged it. So that's another thing you want to keep in mind. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want to go for Freedom Pop, the service was good. I'm not going to lie, for $4 a month, I will applaud the service. It was, it was everything I thought it would be. Uh, except, the device they sent me was awful. So, 
if you want to spend and you're going to be spending money on your service unless if you want reliable coverage because if you don't spend money you're going to get echoey calls and drop calls and you're not going to call a lot of people and you also can't um send pictures so if you're a big picture person you can't send that uh, so you might want to use google voice with your data if you have that but that's uh it's almost everything you need to know about free and pop but yeah this is what it came with quick start guide and all this stuff then it came with a charger and a power brick which uh the, it wasn't good and it broke uh, after a month so everything i bought from freedom freedom pop uh completely broke within a few days uh within a few months not days so i would stay away from freedom pop uh do what you want to if you want to save money but i got me a phone through verizon i know it's expensive but i need a good phone um but in the meantime i've also bought or put minutes on this track phone which i hate um just in case so that's what happens if your phone breaks now they also have a um uh what's it called an insurance plan where you pay 5.99 a month for your insurance and uh then you have to pay 25 dollars to send your phone in for them to replace it uh and that protects the whole thing but i'm not gonna give them 30 dollars uh even more money i'm just gonna be done with it because they've already taken 95 dollars of my money and uh you can't get two months of service for much cheaper than that <laughs> any cheaper than that so I guess uh I guess I got about about what it costs at a normal place. So uh thanks for watching, read, comment and subscribe. Uh and uh <laughs> stay away from Freedom Pop. Uh you can do a, a bring your own device. I'm sure you probably have a better experience. I'm sure other people have had good experiences um, cuz the service was good. But uh keep in mind what I said and I hope I could have helped some of you guys out.